Hi you guys. So welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would film a what's in my beauty desk type of thing um, and show you guys what I have in my beauty desk. Now there's a lot of products that I have here that I don't use a lot, like even on camera or every day. I have like some high-end and some drugstore. A lot of my high-end stuff I haven't used a lot. I don't know why, but I just have it. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you what I have in it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit our social media. Um, so our Instagram is KJ Marshalls. Um, and then my regular. So I guess I'm going to go in order and start and show you what I have. Um, so if you haven't watched any of my videos, um, my favorite foundation currently is the L'Oreal Two Match Super Blendable Foundation. And I have mine in C8, also known as Coco. Um, now I change foundations a lot. Um, but right now, just True Match really matched my skin just because my um, face complexion has changed since moving. Um, I usually use the uh, Revlon. Is it Revlon? Yeah, Revlon um, foundation because it has the um, sunscreen in it and it protects my face. But I use that one during the summertime the most because I tend to sweat a lot on my face in summer so I'll use that which I think it's more of a little heavy but it still protects my face from the rays so that's my first foundation that I use like as my regular every day um I do use Tarte as my concealer but I ran out <laughs> so I'm kind of like just scraping up the bare mineral of it but I'm gonna eventually get rid of it. And I have it in the shade Deep, which is still too light for me, but I'll use like little dots of it. I won't use it like full on like most people do. And um, I use the Tarte and Tan as well. And I usually put that under my foundation just for a little bit of extra coverage. Um, but Tarte is my favorite concealer, but like I said, since I'm running out of it, I haven't used it very much. Um, and then my other favorite concealers are the Maybelline New York concealers. Um, I have them in shade Hazelnut. This one's Hazelnut. I can show you guys as well. Let's see, so that's Hazelnut. And then this one, I think is, see, this one is Coco. <laughs> so Coco really matches my skin. I, if I put too light of a concealer on, I usually go over it with Coco just to like darken it up just so that way it's not like too white. And this one should be tan hauler. Yeah, this one is tan holler, or just tan. So that's what that one looks like. So those are my three concealers that I have. Sorry, they're terrible swatches, but you know, that's what I have to go with. And then um, sometimes I will put on this color correcting one on under my eyes right here, and then I'll put a concealer over it. Um, and then primers that I use, I don't always use it every time, but um, I use the Smashbox 24 hour wear um, eyeshadow primer. And 
I usually use it when I'm doing a lot of glitter base shadows, but I don't use it a lot. I don't know why it's so low when I don't use it a lot, but you know. Um, so that was like a high-end one too, I guess. Smashbox. <laughs> Um, I also use the Wet n Wild Matte Photo Finish Primer. Um, I do like matte, like I like my face to be matte. I don't like to be super glowy, dewy, none of that stuff. I'm very weird and I'm sure I will change eventually. I do like to highlight, but I don't like to highlight all the time. So it just depends on my mood. Um, if I do something with highlight, I don't, I don't use this. So, and I don't use primer every day because my makeup usually lasts all day long. Um, okay, and so for the brushes that I use, I use, I have more than this, but I don't want to just pull them all out. I use the Morphe brushes. I tried to look up their name, but I couldn't find them. So I don't know if Morphe stopped selling them or not, but it was like a 12 pack that dropped me for my birthday. Um, believe it or not, I just cleaned my brushes, but because he did my makeup the other day, I they got all filthy again. So I gotta clean them again. Um, so those ones were Morphe, and I have the full collection to the e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Brushes. Now they're super soft. Um, the only ones that I don't really use for the Beautifully Precise and it's dirty. I don't know how it got dirty, but I think it was on top of my beauty dust when I spilled foundation. We've all been there. The only one I don't use, I don't use this. I don't know why, but I just don't. I used it when I first got it for like um, primers and stuff like that, but now I don't really use it. There's no use for it. But I was like, why well, get rid of it? I could use it one day. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'll just have this. I also have the, the True Match, um, Super Vulnerable Powder in the shade Coco as well. Um, I use this sometimes just like, you remember back in the day, girls, in high school where you just took your little thing at the back and you were just like this? That's, that's how we used to do foundation, Okay. I'm being real so sometimes if I don't really want to put on foundation but I want to cover up a blemish like if I'm just going to grocery shop or something and I'm not girl I don't get full glam for grocery shopping but and I just want to cover up a little bit I'll use this or sometimes I'll use it as like a little setter um I also have the the blush in it which this blush does not show up on me very well it doesn't have enough pigment for it um but if you want it it's in sweet ginger and it's in seven eight i do use it sometimes but as you can see the difference of me using it <laughs> yeah not very much um also i use beauty blender i have a black one too i just don't know where it is but i use the beauty blender um, I use Wet n Wild. Oops, didn't realize that was open. Okay, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder as well. And this one, oh, it doesn't have the name, but yeah. So. I love Wet n Wild brand as well. Um, I have also, let's see. I use, I also use the Bare Minerals um, matte foundation and powder as well. I know powder foundation is kind of out there and it's kind of like phew, long gone, left in the early 2000s, but sometimes I will use it not that big of a deal you use whatever works for you girl get a girl oh i also did forget to mention that i use the garnier skin active moisture balm 
Well, that one is the Moisture Rescue. Um, I do use the Moisture Balm. Um, and then for another, for contouring, for contouring, contour, it's contour. I can't get it out, y'all. Okay. So I use the NYX Wonder Stick, but funny thing is, I don't really use that part a lot because when I put it on me, it's darker than where I'm putting it and it makes it look so sticky and dewy. So I don't use it. So I use this side and this side I use to highlight my brow bone. I don't know why my face is looking so dark right there. It must be a shadow. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but see, yeah, I have breakouts. So I'll use that side. And that's the highlight contour stick. Obviously, this is the highlight. And then I also got the Fitney Beauty contour stick. <laughs> when I got this, y'all, I thought I was legit, like, you know what, S-H-I-T or whatever. I thought I was, I thought I had it together. Um, I have this one in Espresso. So I do use this quite regularly. In fact, it looks like I'm running low or something. I don't know, but you don't need a whole lot to make this appear on you. Trust me, even lighter skin tones, you don't need it. Um, but that's what it looks like. Here's my other beauty blender. I told you I had a black one. Um, so, I have the Anastasia Contour Kit from to medium to tan, and it looks like this, and you can see which one I use the most of. Which is funny because my other palette, <laughs> this is my second Anastasia palette, or Anastasia Contour palette. When contouring first came around, this was like the only thing that would contour. I can't get this out. I can't get this out. So what's so funny is that this is my old contour palette and it's super clean, right? And these little guys, they pop out. So if you want to replace them, you can. Um, however, with me, I didn't want to have to pay $18 for just a little thingy. I'd rather just buy a whole new palette. So that's what I did. But look how much filthier this palette is versus this one. Like I haven't even used the highlight in this one. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I use that one religiously. Can you see how empty it is? And this one is on its way too. But I promise you guys, I'm not going to go buy another one. Because I think they retail for $42. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's I think that's their price for it. So, I ain't going to don't wanna just buy it for a new one. I'm not that crazy no more. But back then, I was a little. Um, I also got Makeup at Revolution. And as you can see how filthy this one is, I actually used up all the, the one that I needed for contouring, which this was the best one that I actually liked. I got this one at Ulta. Um, I got it over in the drugstore area, but I don't know how much it is. And I don't even know if they still have it, but mine is medium to dark. Um, okay, now moving on to the lips. Now, when you see my beauty desk, the most I have of is lip stuff, lip products. Now, I don't use any kind of, like, well, that was a lot. That was going to be a lot. I use chapstick, but I use the CarMax. Um, I don't use, like, any hydrating lip type stuff because, like, like elementary school, I had problems with my lips being so cracked and so dried out 
and I was constantly licking them. I also had that ring under my lips from me licking them. And I tried every chapstick product. Didn't work, but then I started using Carmax like in middle school to high school and it cleared up my lips big time. So I don't use any other chapstick products but the Carmax, but sometimes I do use like these little, um, these little Hershey Kiss things. They're kind of like those like eco egg thingies that you do for your lip or that you can buy for your lips. Those little egg things. I don't know. But this one is a flavorite lip balm. This one was vanilla, I think. Yeah, this one is vanilla. I use this one a lot, as you can see. Um, and that's usually just like I put it on while I'm doing my makeup and that way it'll hydrate my lips a little bit before I put on lipstick. Um, this one is, I think this one was cherry. I don't like anything cherry, so I won't put anything cherry on me. Yeah, that one's cherry. And as you can see, I haven't used it, <laughs> but they look cute. They look in you. I just keep them though, just because like. You never know when you're going to run out of something girl on you and you just got to use it. But this is how they look. They're little Hershey Kisses. I don't know what brand they're from because I think I got them as like a little little mini gift in like a Christmas bag or something. Um, so for my lips, I have two different kinds. Actually, Ulta, when I got my packages for like makeup and stuff, Ulta would send me like a free lip gift and they sent me two of the same ones. <laughs> so this one, they're lip crowns. This one is, these ones are firecracker. Yeah, these ones are called firecracker and I actually do use them. Believe it or not, I use both of them. I don't know why. Instead of just using one until it, it's done, but looks like that. I actually wore that the other day. So. And then I've got um, the NYX brand. And these ones don't have their name on it. Oh, no, I think they do. Yeah, they do. Okay. So these ones are lip crown, like I said. Um, I usually will put them on as like a undercoat for whatever um, lipstick I'm putting on today. And these are in the brand NYX, and this one is called Bewitching. So it looks like that. And like that. So that color is Bewitching, and that color is Firecracker. Okay, and then this one kind of looks similar. So when I got them, I was like, oh my god, they're the same. Why did I get them? But I actually bought these ones myself no somebody bought these ones for me actually it might have been my mom I can't remember she devil and it looks like that I actually use she devil a lot and I'm actually gonna try to get it in between it so that one she devil okay so everybody knows that I'm not for the red lipstick but lately i've been for it okay so i started using this one which you can see that it is like going out and actually this one falls out so uh yeah they also i forgot to tell you guys they also twist right here so you can twist it to make it move up or make it go down but this one is broke so it's only gonna go down and up so far. Anyways, this one is Maracino. Oh God, I really hope I didn't say that bad, but let's just call this one red. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I hope I didn't say a bad word in Spanish because <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, and this one is also NYX and this one's like a nude and it's Ferris. This one 
actually I will use if I'm doing like a um a um what's it called ombre look so that's the fairest I'm bad at these swatches oh, well. and then this one this one was given to me um my friend she didn't really care for it and it wasn't her thing but this one is Revlon. It's a matte bomb. So it looks like that. I use this one a lot, but sorry about the color. It's just because I blend them on my lips so much. So this one looks like that. Right there. And also, it smells really good too. Um, let's see if I can find the name of it. This one is exclusive. No. Elusive. Why can't y'all name names right? Why can't y'all put a simple name on here? Just, oh. I don't know. Um. Okay. And then I have these like. Like matte liquid lipsticks. And this one is called Saint. And it comes with this type of an applicator. It looks like that. And this one looks like... That. And then I have another one as well. They're rolling like all over the place. This one is like a hot pink red. I don't use that one. But this one's called True Love. Actually, I think I used it on Valentine's Day and that's it. I don't use this one hardly ever. Ever. Because of how it looks. I don't like it. And it smells good, but I don't like it. And it's like a glossy height hot pink too but that's how it looks and I'm just ugh. sorry I don't even know why I keep it I guess maybe just for Valentine's Day I'm like no thank you buddy um so this one is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick it looks like that and this shade is Milk and Cookies. Milk and Cookies. And then this is my red lipstick that I use constantly. Only because it's a little bit darker. It looks like that, but it is pretty nice. Um, this one is in the shade Grand Bazaar Crushed Berry. Well, that was a mouthful. And that's what it looks like. That's like my favorite red lipstick that I have out of all of these. Um, so yeah. So, that's what that's called. Um, I'm just going to use my little makeup remover. These three are Stila. Stila, Stella, however you guys want to pronounce it. Who cares? Um, well, not really who cares, but just however you want to pronounce it. This one is Rico. And I'm not going to swatch these ones just because they're harder to get off. Is Ofra. My friend also gave me this one. She gives me makeup a lot that she don't like. Because you know why? Her lipsticks, they're all the same color. I know you're going to be watching this, so I'm going to make fun of you. They're all the same color. If they're not the same color, it bugs her. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, this one is Tuscany. And it's, and it's the Ofra brand. And it's like that. 
And then I have two Milani's. Um, she gave me the pink one as well. <laughs> Sarah girl, this video is about you. Um, so this one is called Love. And it's number 12. And it's kind of like my other pink one that I have, I guess. So it looks like that. And this one, my brownish one, I use this one a lot. This one is Covet. If I have brown on my lips in a photo, I'm wearing this. It's, it's my favorite. So these ones are the Milani brand. This one is um, Too Faced. And this one I used to wear a lot when I first got it because it's like my only one. This is my first high-end lip product. Um, and this was this is a liquid matte and it's in Drop Dead Red. And it looks like the So yeah, I, I wore that one a lot. And this one, don't judge me. I got it at the dollar store. Um, just because I wanted to try it, but it's LA Colors, a liquid matte. And this one I feel like is a lip stain, y'all. Don't it it stays on. Okay. Even when you take it off, it's still on. Um, so this one is called Danger. Yeah, it, hence why there's still a lot in there. Um, so those are my lip products. Now my eyes, I have these two palettes. Um, this is the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Bar. Um, I do use these a lot. It just doesn't look like I do. But like a lot of times I use that silver. If I'm doing smoky eyes, I'll use that black glitter. Um, I'll use that one sometimes if I'm doing inner corner. Um, but not very many people like you ha have these or use these. When I first got them, they weren't pigmented enough. And I had to like keep working at them. And then eventually I ended up liking them. Um, this one is the Tarte Tardis palette, the little mini palette. And I use these ones a lot. I use this one if I'm just doing a soft look. Um, also I do have an e.l.f. palette. I haven't used it in a while, but it was like part of their Christmas collection one year and that's what I got. So, as you can see, the colors I did use a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that was my e.l.f. palette. Um, I still don't use a lot of these. And then this was... Ooh. Oh, I got this at Walmart. It was just like when I started getting into makeup a lot. This is my high school palette. Um, so that was one. Um, also, my other eyeshadow palette is my Jaclyn Hill palette. Josh actually got this for me for my birthday. Um, he was... Okay, so they stocked it. They sold out the first time. And my friend was like the last one to get her palette the first time. And then when they restocked it, they were in cahoots with each other. And she was like, dude, you got to go get on this, you know, because they're restocking it. And they're almost sold out again. He was the last customer <laughs> to get this palette. So, yeah, I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I use this. This is my everyday use palette. Just saying. Just saying, girl. I also have the vault collection. Um, he got these for my birthday as well. Um, so this one is the
of the Carly Bible palette, which was like cool back then. I mean, she has since come out with an extended palette for it, but I don't have that because I just use it for the highlights right here, or I'll use it for these gold looking and brown shimmery colors. So that's that. Um, I have the Smashbox palette. This is the first eyeshadow palette that Josh bought me. Uh, it looks like that. If you can see it, yep. And then I have the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it looks like that. As you can see, I use up that color a lot. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which was like my first, first high-end one. So, there's those. And then, oops, wrong one. Um, for like eyeliner stuff, I have the NYX pencil, um, my mascara, I use the e.l.f. 3-in-1 in Jet Black, or I'll use the um, Wet n Wild Mega Protein. Look at the difference of the spoolies. So they look like that, right? And then the Elf Wet n Wild looks like that. Which this one, once you get it on, difficult. Even if you have removable, waterproof um, makeup remover. Um, I also use the Elf eyeliner. Um, for those that don't know, I have to use e.l.f. around my eyes or wet and wild. Otherwise, my eyes will break or my eyes will get very, very irritated. Um, so this is a liquid liner. I can use pencil liquid gel. Um, so that's what that looks like the application for that. And then this one I need to replace, but I use the e.l.f. and jet black as well liquid liner um for my eyebrows i'll use i just started using the um oh snap the name is up here. i think this is l'oreal i don't remember you guys oh well but it's a brow pencil but i think it's l'oreal and i use that in like a um Jeez, the name wiped off of it real quick. Oh, it's a dark brown. Yeah, dark brown, sorry. And then I got the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I usually don't use this spoolie on it a lot. I use a different spoolie just because, well, no, I use the spoolie on this one. I don't use the spoolie on this one, that's what it is. I'll use this one. And I have the angled. Like that. Um, I usually do like to use the um, fine, but angled looks the best. To shape my brows or just to clean them up, I'll use the flawless brow shader. So, um, I do have a liquid eyeshadow, it's in Stila as well. And this one is Starlight. I actually did use this the other day. It looks like that. I used it for my Easter look. Um, I do have the the unique fibers as well. And I have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Looks like. Well, that was terrible, but it's in pearl. Okay. 
So that was all that. Um, I used the setting spray, Wet n Wild Finny Matte Photofocus Spray. Um, I also have a mini selfie stick out. I'll use the e.l.f. setting powder as well. It's in the shade Sheer. I also have the Hykra um, blush, contour, and highlight. And this one is Shimmer Bronze. Um, I also do have the Becca highlighter, and mine is in the shade Moonstone. Looks like pink. This was actually my first high-end product buy. Me and my friend we waited in line for Sephora opening in our town, and we got up at pretty much old dark thirty, and we waited in line for them open and that's what we got um i do have the elf contour um cream contour i don't use it too often anymore but that's what it looks like so yeah that's pretty much it about what's in my desk um to mold i use all three of the Marcella water. I used the Garnier. Oh no. But I also have the um, cleansing pump wash, face wash for it too. So I use these ones. This one actually came, the blue one actually came from the dollar store just because like I was out of that one and I needed it immediately. So I got it. So, um, but the rest of them, they either come from um, Ulta or Walmart, which they're a lot cheaper at Walmart than they are at Target or Ulta. Um, I think they're only like two bucks off, but still cheaper. Um, so I use all three of them and they are for sensitive skin. Um, so if you're, so if you don't, or bleh, if your skin is sensitive, then that is a go-to for you. Um, it's also easier because you just take out like a little cotton or like a makeup pad remover. You just take that, put a couple drops on it, wipe it, and you're good. You're good to go. Um, but like I said, I use the face wash cleanser after it as well. So that is it for what is in my beauty desk. And please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video if you want to see like a um a review on something let me know um if you want to see another makeup look using just high-end or just um like george drugstore makeup then go for it and i will let you guys know thanks for watching bye